Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the story time. Today we are going to read a book called Mr. Gamal's Gratitude Classes by Asma Hussein, illustrated by Nuria Tomas Mayalis. Mr. Gamal's Gratitude Classes. Mr. Gamal stood at the front of the classroom. His students were getting restless. Farah had lost her bouncy ball at recess. It was so bouncy, she whispered to herself. I'll never find one as bouncy again. Adam's mom gave him green grapes instead of red grapes for lunch. Green grapes are too sour, he grumbled. Mona huffed because someone else was playing with the squishy yellow play-doh and she needed it to make a duck. Ring, went the bell. Mr. Gamal sighed. I wish I could find a way to help my students be more positive, he thought. It takes so much energy to be angry all the time. Mr. Gamal stopped at the dollar store on his way home from school. That always cheered him right up. He went straight to his favorite aisle, shelves stacked top to bottom with party supplies. There were tiny whistles, bottles of sticky slime, and piles of plastic jewelry. He passed by a bin of oversized glasses and picked up a yellow pair. The lenses were tinted pink. He put them on and everything in the store turned a magnificent magenta. A lightning bolt of an idea hit Mr. Gamal, the kind of idea that made his beard hair stand on end. He picked out 15 of the biggest, most colorful frames he could find and added them to his shopping basket. The next morning, Mr. Gamal stood at the front of the classroom and carefully slipped on a pair of big, bright glasses. What are those? The children asked. Mr. Gamal said, my new glasses. When I put them on, everything changes color. I see things differently. He walked along the rows of desks, handing each student a pair of glasses. Mr. Gamal explained, every time you feel upset or angry, instead of yelling or complaining, I want you to put these glasses on. They might help you see things you couldn't see before. Like what? Yusuf asked. Like something different, something positive, Mr. Gamal said. How? Yusuf asked. Are they x-ray glasses? They are even better than x-ray glasses, Mr. Gamal replied. I call them gratitude glasses. His students snickered. When this week is over, you'll each write one paragraph explaining what happened when you looked through your glasses and present it to the class, Mr. Gamal said. That week, all the students got a chance to use their new glasses. Farah forgot her lunchbox at home and started whining. I'm going to starve! Mr. Gamal tapped her shoulder and reminded her to put on her glasses. Adam spilled a whole jar of blue paint on his new white shirt during art class. Arr! He groaned, slapping his forehead. He remembered the glasses at his desk and put them on. Mona and her friends were playing dodgeball and she was the first to be knocked out at the game. She reached into her pocket for the glasses. I guess I'll try these. I have nothing else to do anyway. Yusuf jumped off the swing in the park and felt a sharp pain shoot up his ankle when he landed. Ouch! As he iced his ankle in the school's front office, he reluctantly pulled the glasses out of his bag. 
When presentation day arrived, Yusuf hobbled to the front of the class, balancing on one crutch. Spraining my ankle hurt a lot, he said, frowning at the memory. The glasses made everything look pink, but my leg still hurts. They didn't work at all. Hmm, Mr. Gamal said. Does anyone have a different story? Clara held up her hand. When I forgot my lunch last week, I was so hungry. Then I put the glasses on. Bilal saw me and he knew I was upset, so he shared his crackers and hummus with me. Manal shared her string cheese and raisins, and Sarah gave me a juicy orange. I realized how many amazing friends I have. Now if someone else doesn't have lunch, I'll definitely share mine. Next up was Adam. I was so mad in art class, but when I put on that funny glasses and looked at my shirt in the washroom mirror, I noticed the blue stain kind of looked like a whale. So instead of washing my shirt, I used my fabric paints at home to transform it into an actual whale. He pulled out his chest. He puffed out his chest. I think it looks pretty cool. When it was Muna's turn, she showed the class her big jar with holes poked into the lid. I'm always the first one to lose at dodgeball, and I get so bored sitting on the grass alone, she said. But when I put on the glasses, I found three caterpillars munching away at a leaf. I took them home in my lunchbox, and now I have them in this special jar. I'm going to watch them get bigger, make their cocoons, and then become butterflies. When all of them had finished presenting, Mr. Gamal clapped and said, Wonderful job, everyone. Mr. Gamal, Yusuf interrupted, do you think I can have another chance to present? Of course, we still have a few minutes. Yusuf shuffled to the front of the class again. I thought the glasses would help make my ankle feel better, but they didn't. But something else happened. I visited my mom's clinic and ate three lollipops from the receptionist's special jar. I got an x-ray, which was pretty cool, and I have decided I want to be a doctor like my mom. The class was quiet as Yusuf headed back to his desk. Thank you for sharing, Yusuf, Mr. Gamal said. Class, do you think it was really the glasses that made these cool things happen? Bilal raised his hand. The glasses just made everything look pink. Then Sarah added, but they made our brains discover new ways to think about stuff. Do you think you could look at life more positively even without wearing the glasses? Mr. Gamal asked. His students nodded. Do you know what the hardest kind of gratitude is? Finding good things, even in tough situations. And that's what you all did. Gratitude means being thankful for everything you have and everything you experience. Mr. Gamal was proud of his students when he left them for art class. They really get it now, he thought. After a hot cup of coffee in the staff room, Mr. Gamal stepped back into his class. His mouth fell open in shock. There was paint on the window, glue smeared on the desks, paper snippets in everyone's hair, piles of glitter on the floor. What have you done? He asked his students. This is the biggest mess I have ever seen. Mr. Gamal plopped down in his chair. He rested his forehead in his palm and sighed loudly. <sighs> After a few seconds, he felt a gentle tap on his shoulder. 
Yusuf held out his plastic glasses. We can share mine, he said. Mr. Gamal took the glasses, slowly put them on, and turned to look at his class. Surprise! yelled the students. They held up a huge, colorful banner. We are grateful for Mr. Gamal, the best teacher on planet Earth. Mr. Gamal blushed. Okay, maybe I need to use the gratitude glasses too. Together, they all swept the floors, wiped down the desks and windows, and shook the paper tidbits out of their hair. The class was cleaner than ever. Ring, went the bell. The students jumped from their chairs and raced out the door. But Mr. Gamal noticed something was different now. The kids were smiling and they had an extra bounce in their steps. And so did he.